Welcome to the first training session of Project BEAM. In this session, we'll briefly go over the theoretical framework of academic enrichment and the basic steps of navigating Renzulli Learning System. What is included in this presentation? Theoretical Framework and Academic Enrichment of Project BEAM Introduction of Renzulli Learning System and some of its important features Implementation Tips and Student Learning Objectives Why does Project BEAM provide academic enrichment? Project BEAM provides academic enrichment activities to allow students to explore their areas of interest in their preferred ways of learning and help them build necessary skills to grow as an independent researcher by gradually releasing the responsibility of learning to students and to provide an opportunity to conduct their own research, share it with a public audience in their preferred ways of expression and receive feedback. The academic component of BEAM model is based on Renzulli's theories on gifted education. Renzulli proposes that giftedness is composed of an interaction among three clusters, above average general ability, high levels of creativity, and high task commitment. Development of giftedness requires a variety of educational opportunities and services not normally provided through regular instructional programming. So Renzulli developed the enrichment triad model consisting of three different types of enrichment activities. The enrichment triad model was implemented in many school districts and states and expanded to the school-wide enrichment model. The school-wide enrichment model gives each school the flexibility to develop unique programs for talent development and creative productivity based on local resources, student demographics, and school dynamics as well as faculty strengths and creativity. This model emphasizes engagement and the use of enjoyable and challenging learning experiences constructed around students' interests, learning styles, and product styles. Now let's take a closer look at what these three different types of enrichment activities are. Type 1 enrichment are general exploratory activities designed to expose students to a wide variety of disciplines, topics, occupations, hobbies, persons, places, and events that would not ordinarily be covered in the regular curriculum. Type 2 enrichment are group training activities to promote the development of problem thinking, that is creative thinking, problem solving, and critical thinking and feeling processes. Type 3 enrichment are individual and small group investigations of real problems. It is usually more appropriate for students with higher levels of ability, interest, and task commitment for advanced content acquisition and process training, that is talent pool students. Here's the agenda for the 10 math project development sessions built on the enrichment triad model. We'll also get assistance from the math specialists and mentors. Week 1, Introduction to Renzulli Learning System and Learning Profile. Week 2, Type 1 Enrichment Activity, Explore Real World Problems and Type 2 Enrichment Activity, Build Skills to Solve Real World Problems. Week 3, Type 3 Enrichment Activity 1, Introduction to Wizard Project Maker of Renzulli Learning System and Problem Solving Steps and Select an Issue, Identify Problems, and Collaborative Problem Solving Practice 1. Week 4, Type 3 Enrichment Activity 2, Select and Present a Problem Using Mathematical Procedures and Thinking and Collaborative Problem Solving Practice 2. Week 5, Type 3 Enrichment Activity 3, Investigate the problem and develop a data collection and analytic plan and collaborative problem solving practice 3. Week 6, Type 3 Enrichment Activity 4, Collect, Analyze Data and Find Solutions and Collaborative Problem Solving Practice 4. Week 7, Type 3 Enrichment Activity 5, Evaluate the Solutions. Week 8, Type 3 Enrichment Activity 6, Reflect upon your own learning, consider the potential usefulness, and develop a presentation material. Week 9, Type 3 Enrichment Activity 7, continue to develop a presentation material and tips for citation and presentation. Week 10, Type 3 Enrichment Activity 8, 
practice and do a presentation. What is Renzulli Learning System? Renzulli Learning System is a student-centered tool that facilitates strategic inquiry and critical thinking, encouraging students to explore and follow their interests. It matches students' interests, expression styles, and learning styles to thousands of enriched and challenging activities. All activities and options are based on the enrichment triad model and school-wide enrichment model, one of the most widely used plans for enrichment and talent development in the world. It has been used with students in urban, suburban, and rural schools across the country with positive outcomes for the last three decades. Based on the theories and over 30 years of research, Dr. Renzulli and his colleagues developed an online learning program called Renzulli Learning. Renzulli Learning System uses a computer-based diagnostic assessment to create a profile of each student's academic strengths, areas of interest, learning styles, and preferred modes of expression. It's a differentiation search engine that examines thousands of resources and activities and relates them specifically to each student's profile. Why does Project Beam choose Renzulli Learning System? Because our goal is to increase students' achievement, motivation, and engagement through an enrichment-based and differentiated approach. In the first week, you will introduce your students to the Renzulli Learning System and help them with logging into their Renzulli Learning System account. When students sign in for the first time, they will have to begin their learning profiles. Then you need to lead group discussions and provide individualized support to facilitate students' understanding of their learning profiles. In Renzulli Learning, you can access students' learning profiles, their responses to the assigned readings during the math session. In addition, you can make announcements and communicate with your students outside class. First, let's take a look at how to log into your Renzulli Learning account. Type www.renzullilearning.com in your address bar, and it will take you to their website as shown in the screenshot. Then, you need to fill in your username, password, and whether you're a student or teacher. You'll get the login information from our staff. Here's the Renzulli Learning homepage after you log in. At the top of the web page, there are eight tabs indicating its eight major functions. In this presentation, we'll focus on students only. There are many things you can do in Renzulli Learning, and I'll take time to explore and learn all the program has to offer. Also note in the top right hand corner, you can change the site you are looking at. Currently, we're in the teacher site, you can also view student site. Click on my students and you'll be taken to the students web page. Here you will see a list of your students. Click on the student's name and you will be routed to a new page with their registration information such as her username, ID, her teacher, and the grade that she's in. If you click on the down point arrow next to registration info in the Navigate To section, a drop-down menu will appear. In the drop-down menu, you will have various choices in ways in which you can view the student's information. You will have choices like profile results, login and history, lessons, notes, sites visited, journal, and etc. Now I will show you how to communicate with students in Renzulli Learning. First, click on Inbox icon at the top, and it will take you to your inbox. Then click on Send a Message. If you have messages in your inbox, you can click on the message to read it and respond to it. You can fill out the subject line and then fill in your message. You then choose whom you would like to send your message to. If you want to send the message to everybody, you can click on the check all, which is circled in the screenshot. So let's take a step back and see what we have learned in this session. First, we learned about the theoretical framework underlying the academic enrichment of Project Beam. Then we talked about what Renzulli Learning System entails. Next, we went over several features of Renzulli Learning System, such as how to log into your Renzulli Learning account, how to access students' learning profile consisting of their areas of interest, learning styles, and expression styles, 
as well as how to communicate with your students using messages. Thank you for watching this presentation, and I hope this helps you with your mentoring of students using Renzuli Learning System. If you have any further questions, please contact us via javisprojectbeam at gmail.com. We'd love to hear from you.